82,000 signatures have been tabled. And that will happen, but in true political form, they keep talking. That's right. So, the good thing is, they are talking about family doctors. They are sharing statements about the importance of this crisis, they tell the me. importance of our family doctors that exist, that are here, and those that we need to encourage to go into this field. So within moments, they will be tabling our petition. And let me tell you, it is no small document. It requires an entire box this size. 42,000 of you. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, I ask you now, hold your signs high above your head, and I want to know, what does everyone deserve? A doctor. This is a huge milestone, having our petition tabled. It is now up to the government to demonstrate what their response will be to our request for solutions now. If the government continues to not be transparent and continues to delay taking action, then we will continue to ramp up our efforts and highlight the need for action now. The power of one is the theory that one person can change the future. That one person's actions can actually change the lives of many. We all have that power within us. And I hope this rally today inspires you to see the potential in you. Speeches are written one word at a time. The greatest accomplishments begin with one idea. And the wealth of the team that developed around this movement started with one woman saying, enough is enough. a few times by political representatives, medical professionals, and citizens that they have never seen such a movement accumulate so much momentum in such a short time or garner so much media and citizen attention. This campaign's growth has been short, has been nothing short of amazing and you, all of you, have helped bring us to this critical momentous day. I started this group because I could not sit idle while I watched my family and others struggle without a family doctor. I gather you are all here today for similar reasons. Perhaps some of you have no doctor and feel abandoned in a, in a system that promised to build a stronger society by putting people first, but has not delivered on that promise. Some of you here today may have a doctor, but are not able to access your physician in times of need. Or perhaps some of your loved ones are without and you are here to support them. Some of you in the crowd are medical professionals here today to support your fellow colleagues and residents who deserve the family doctor. <laughs> or to even support your need for a family doctor. Because even some family doctors don't have family doctors. Regardless of your status, unattached or attached, you made a choice to be here today, and I am so grateful you did. I stand before you today, as you can see, in white. In white, because my family has been fortunate enough to get a new family doctor very recently. 
So today, I am here as a resident with a family doctor who will continue to press forward in this campaign for all those that don't have a family doctor or need better access to primary care. <clears throat> My determination to pursue the needed changes in the primary, system, primary care system will not falter. I will not yield in my pursuit for better primary care for all. I am a mother, a wife, and a complex needs patient. I have witnessed the benefits of having a family doctor that knows us, knows our conditions, and that grows with us. At this time, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge that today is Family Physician Day. And I would like to thank every one of you family doctors in the crowd. Thank you for choosing to pursue a career whose primary purpose is to maintain and improve the well-being of another. The family doctors are the foundation to our healthcare system, and without them, we have nothing but a fragile infrastructure that could collapse and erode away. So I ask you now, look to your left, look to your right. If you see a family doctor near you, say thank you. Thank you. It is now with my great pleasure to introduce a very important woman that has stood by me since our first coffee date um, in January, Miss Alexis Reed. Alexis Reed and I'm the project lead at BC Healthcare Matters. I never <laughs> I never in a million years thought I'd see this many people on the lawn of the legislature rallying together for something that we can all agree on, that we all deserve primary care and we all deserve a family doctor. I'm so honored to be standing in front of you today. Today is the day that our petition is being tabled. All of our petition is being tabled. <laughs> today, we are showing the government that we will not stand idly by while our healthcare needs continue to be unmet. In just over three months, I've watched this campaign explode. I'm honored to have been given the chance to work with Camille and to help her build this campaign. Just a few months ago, one woman said enough is enough and decided to take action. None of us would be here today without her. She's shown us all how powerful the decisions and actions of one person can be and one person